I don't know. I don't know. You don't know? One of your homeboys to tell you if your partner was out with someone? I don't know. Not until it happened? You don't do the what if game? Come on, man. I've been in this situation a few times. Like, I've been in this situation where my man's... I mean, if it's my man, man, I would tell him. Are you someone who would want to be told? Yeah, yeah. I want all information at all times. <laughs> you want all information at all times? Mm -hmm. I, you... I always want as much information as possible to be able to make the best decision. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Makes sense. So what are your plans today? This. Just chilling? You gonna be yeah. on live? You gonna be on live with everybody? I'm I'm excited just to go and tune in to the Joe Budden pod. I do wanna thank you. Can I can I thank you publicly, sir? Because I know the last time we got on live, you said we wasn't getting none until this coronavirus was over. So I appreciate y'all. That is not what I said on this live. Is Nate, it <clears throat> you said like there's no pod until we figure it out. So I guess you figured it out. Is that what it is? No, my dad was uh, discharged from the hospital yesterday. Oh, well, that's good. So he's, he's healthy in, now? He's, he's, in, he's, he's in the, no, I'm not going to say healthy, but he's in recovery mode. Oh, wow. He, he, he's, he is recovering from COVID. Oh, wow. So. Well, I'm glad that, that, that he's is, recovering. Yeah. And, and, did, and, and, and was able to get out of the hospital. Oh, he, he is too. He is too. Yeah, so I was able to focus on Zoom a little bit. How did you like it? Or dislike it? What are your thoughts on this re recording uh, remotely? I want to I wanna address the audio. I want to address the audio. Please. I mean, we I, try. I will say, yeah, because I'm listening to it now and I'm like, ugh. Yeah, but you know what? It, it didn't sound like that when we were recording it. And I did like three days of audio Protest. checks. I had a production team come in here. It just didn't come out right. So we'll try it again. We'll did try you, it again. Did you use the, or, or I, I mean, I could probably talk to you offline about this because I mean, I have a way that I'm doing it over here and maybe I can share with you guys my way and y'all can tweak it because you do have a full, full ass team. Yeah, that's why I'm confused as to why the audio came out like that, but... <laughs> But it's did you fine. did you guys use the audio from Zoom or something else? We had all types of shit going on. We had all types of boards and rigs and right. I already knew y'all would this and once you start doing that, it's it's tough to find out where that quality is coming from. Right. Well, but, I can share with you my tips. I can send you kind of like the audio that I did, and you can listen to it, and I can let you know how I did it on my end. Well, that would be super helpful, Mandy, because, yeah, we're back in the streets. But I ain't doing shit today. What's today, Wednesday? I'm going to get my baby. I'm okay. Gonna, oh, gonna... so you back on a regular schedule, huh? My schedule has never stopped with my baby. No? It's the same? Same mm -hmm. every day? All right. Yeah. I'm going to get my baby. Look, there's a lot of people that didn't even know y'all dropped an episode. Yes, they're back. They're off break. Go listen to the Joe Budden pod, goddamn. And, and, and don't mind the audio. <laughs> I mean, but I mean, I mean, everyone is kind of like in this trial, and I mean, we're all trying to figure out the best way for this audio. Because I'm not gonna lie, like I haven't listened to Brilliant in years. Wouldn't listen to it. Couldn't really get through it. Like Charlemagne sounded like a fucking robot, and you know he has people like from iHeart helping him. He has all the gadgets too, and it's just not sounding right. Yeah, like no, I'm gonna fix that because I'm a perfectionist. I ain't. I know you fun. are. I was just waiting for y'all to still have video. Oh, I was ready for y'all to come with the whole shit. So I'm ready to to hear how y'all fix it. And I'll, like I said, I'll send you my shit. But yeah, I'm just on here. You know, we're. I'm actually about to record in an hour and a half. We're doing an episode on abstinence because Joe, I am going to be abstinent. And oh, so I was. I was about to ask you if. Because you said your old niggas is hitting you now. They popping back up. They are. They are. I was going to ask you if any of them had made you rethink your position on them. Um, there's, there's one, but he's not an old nigga. He's the newest nigga. 
Um, I ended up meeting him during All Star Weekend, and I'm mm -hmm. like, damn, you done came ahead of like all my old niggas. So even like the old people that I thought I was gonna want to see, I realized. I don't really miss you. I don't feel like you checking up on me that much, really. And I'm just like, mm, I'm not that interested. But the one guy that I most recently kicked it with, I'm kind of digging him, kind of digging him. Um, I do think that when this is all over, I'm going to have so much focus on still my business that I think I am going to eliminate dating from someone that doesn't want to be serious. Like, I don't want someone that just wants to have sex anymore. So I'm waiting to find oh, the guys that start asking me about my family and shit. Like, I want a nigga to really like me. You know what I mean? Oh, you're growing up right before our very eyes. I hate you so much. No, this is what this is what adulthood feels like. No, I think I told you, like, that was kind of like a part of what I realized during this whole quarantine is kind of just how much focus I was putting on sex. Like, I didn't really want to even talk to people in the beginning of this because I'm like nigga you can't come drop the dick off so why are you hitting me why are we talking <laughs> and so now I realize like damn you are like, so toxic I know don't do this it's not toxic it's just now I realize like I put so much emphasis on sexual compatibility that I wasn't really even trying to have an emotional connection to to many of these guys so now it's just like okay I know that I do want more than a sexual relationship I want someone you know to care about how many siblings I have goddamn mm. like I'm, I, yeah um I have two and a half well two and a step but that's the thing too like I think that it's a part on me that I have to I realize I have to start dealing with guys that I care about that information too like I've dealt with guys for years, I can't tell you really how many kids they have or even what the names or ages of are their children because it's something that I don't care about. It's something that doesn't really involve my relationship with them. You and I'm like, damn. You was home, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Shut up. Hey, your don't ass was out there hoeing that thing, tossing it. <laughs> no, I wasn't tossing it. I you, just didn't give a fuck about their kids. Hey, you was coming through on the late night. Hey. I hate you. I hate you. Hey, fuck your kids, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, know, I have so much fun talking to people on these live calls. I do. I know you've been you've been doing it often, and you've been getting a, a good mix of people. Well, I think that I think that kind of mirrors real life with me. I have a good mix of people in real life. Like in real life, I can kick it with the hoes. I can kick it with the nine to fivers. I can kick it with the creatives. I can kick it with the older folks. Like, and I think that's what's happening. I like I like I like to the people are able to see you in conversations outside of music and current event topics and you being vulnerable because you see you went viral with, once you started hitting the vulnerability I loved it I loved I saw I read the same pieces too there was a lot um but I like hearing you talk about those things but I already told you too those are my favorite conversations that y'all have on Joe Budden on mm -hmm. the on the pod so yeah. Keep letting that flow. We, I'm liking the cup of Joe, sir. I'm liking. You like it. it. You like it. Although, I'm... although the cup of Joe lasting 22 out of the 24 hours of the day is a little, <laughs> nigga. You be on there all day. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. No. No, I don't. I go on there early, hit them with a little sauce. I go on about my day. I normally come back somewhere around that eight nine o'clock area. I normally don't stay there too long because I take my ass to bed. But like wow. last night, it got litty litty. What? Who are you on live with last night? No, Mandy. You know what be happening? I'm so stupid, man. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm so fucking stupid. I don't know how to creep right. So when I'm in bed. Oh shit. So when I'm in bed, I'm surfing around the live streets, seeing what's going on. So last night I, I bumped into Mano Mano's room. Okay. And Mano Mano is pretty funny if you know if you know Mano. And Mano is a sniper. Yes, he is. Mano is a sniper. Nobody knows it, but he is. So he sent me. A, uh, I'm in there because he got him in there, and he sends me a request. I'm in bed. So now I'm, I'm now I'm in my bed on live. And then it sends the notification to the fucking fans. Then all the fans come with their fucking jokes. 
So then this morning I wake up, I get out of bed, I search the live streets, see my see my uh, internet home girl. She sends me a request. Here comes all the stupid fans saying their fucking stupid shit. I hate them. Oh, is this the girl's name that starts with a C? Let's relax. Uh, I'm just saying. Let's do relax. You know, do you know they brought the conversation to my live? I get on live and they tell me to go look at you with this girl. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I think, you know, they really like it. What's up, Webb? Hope you're safe out here. She fine. She fine? She fine. Okay. I've been seeing some fine ones. But I can't do nothing with them, so I stay clear. I stay clear. I told you I'm going to be abstinent. That's with women and men. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm tearing some pussy down as soon as this. Oh my god! I ain't, I ain't even gonna hold you up. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. I might put on a performance like I'm 23 again. Oh, I already said I'm. I listen. I might go back to to the whole phase just for like three months. Yeah. And then I come ain't. back. Come back to being mature. I'm gonna be mature after after a three month whole phase. Nick, this is my last year in my 20s. I feel like I gotta go out with a bang. I be forgetting that you're such a baby. Don't do this. Don't do this. I be forgetting. I know. We, 29 I, is like a baby, baby. Especially I considering, I think I, I've old. known you since like, oh, not like nigga, 10, 10, almost a decade. I got to. I was hoeing, hoeing. I got to meet some more, some more senior citizens like me. Why? Balance. Man, I know girls your age still doing the same shit we was doing hey, in our lives. Hey, so. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Do you judge the whole hoe? How, how, how long am I able to be like, you know, can you be too old to be a hoe? Man, you got mad years to hoe. I, got, I still got more years. I feel you like just, it's coming to an end. You got so much whole time. Oh, wait, Lexi's in here. Oh, yeah, we used to work together, me and Flexi Lexi. Hey, Flexi yeah, Lexi. What did you yeah. do with Flexi Lexi? You used to work with her, huh? Yeah, we worked. Don't do that. We worked in the club together. Um, she was a go-go dancer, and I was a bartender. Mm. Mm -hmm. Bartenders never fuck the dancers. Don't no, don't do that. No, don't. But I didn't say that. I'm not talking about you and Flexi Lexi. I'm just saying the um, bartenders never fuck the uh, dancers, right? Nah, that's false. I don't I, like when I used to bartend in the strip club. I fucked with a couple of the girls in the strip club. We shared a few of our hoes. I'm trying to find the bitches that want to do the private show, man. Come get these. Come get these coins. Wait, you're not, please. I love your live. Please don't start having girls pour milk on their asses on your live. No, I said. I, I said private oh. show. Only fans. No, they I'm not all, doing all that. You're not I'm doing OnlyFans? I'm not doing that. Oh, you want to give them the full 2500 without it getting tip tap? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, let me know. I can send you some girls. I know some girls that to do some things. No, because my bitches be better than yours. No, they... Nigga! My, my friends are bad. My bitches, I, be, they be better than your crew. Man, get the fuck out of here. How come people don't be wanting to hear that? Because nobody bitch, ever... Nobody ever responds normally to, no, nah, my bitch is better than yours. Yeah, Nobody but my, bi my bitches are better than everybody. Like, my bitches are, are, are lit. And I have a variety of bitches. Just like Maul and Rory said, all your bitches kind of look the same. At least I come with a variety. You don't really have a variety, Joe. I think that's awesome that people feel that way. <laughs> if, if I sat here and gave you my top five, I think my top five beats your top five. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh like that. Fuck you. <laughs> I swear. We... <laughs> hey, I'm not talking about the top five. <laughs> I hate your oh, laugh. Shit. I hate your laugh. I done heard it all. <laughs> I have heard it all. Oh, man, if you don't shut what? up with this now, I'm not even dignifying this nonsense. <laughs> I refuse to. Nigga, I got variety, nigga. I got, you don't. They all gonna have big titties, little ass, small waist, and, 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 and hips. 
a, a big titties, small waist, big ass and hips, and a pretty face. I have variety, man. You're wrong. But All right. I'm well, gonna let can, you be wrong. We, we'll exchange the top five in text then. It's not an exchange. You I don't have a five. On. You don't have a five that come close to none of my fives. I could bring back my a, a old five man, and get you out of here. Man, fuck. All right. All right. Like All right. the disrespect has to stop. Like, <laughs> like why disrespect. niggas is acting like they don't know who I be, man. Stop. You acting like you don't know who I be. You know, I used to have a little I used to, I used to, you know, have work. And I sold my work. My work was going for the top dollar. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me stop. Hey, you're frozen, Joe. So I'm about to get go ahead and get up off. I, All right, y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. Me and him are going to do that battle, though. So y'all let him know he got to compete his top five with my top five, okay? Um, anyways, bye, guys.